my name is Sparks, and this is Game Mode 4, the series where we take command block modules that you can insert into your world to change the vanilla gameplay experience. So guys, I'm very excited about today's Game Mode 4 module. I think this is possibly one of my favourites. It took me quite a long time to get this working nicely, um, but now it does, it does work nicely. So, um, in Survival Minecraft, or in Minecraft in general, you can only get two types of mushroom block. Uh, you get these by silk touching a giant mushroom. So you get this one, which is the brown mushroom, and it's brown all the way around, so the underside is also brown. And the same goes for the red, so the red is the same on all faces. Um, and sadly they took it out. You can't have all the different textures that you get on mushroom blocks, uh, depending on where they where they belong in a mushroom. So there's a lot of decorative tools uh, that were kind of... A lot of decoration was kind of destroyed by this. You can set block them, but you can't uh, you can't get them in survival. So what I've done is uh, I've take, made it so that if you have a silk touch tool in your hand, you'll see it now says mushroom block decoration activated, and a written book in your inventory, uh, just an ordinary written book, then you can type the kind of text you would like into this book. So for example, I can select a stem, and this axe is now set to the stem setting. So any mushroom block I break, <laughs> I have to be in uh, survival for it to work. My bad. Uh, let me just put that back. I keep doing that. Okay, so now this axe, which is set to stem, will replace any block I click uh, with this silk touch tool with the stem texture. And that works for the red and the brown mushrooms. Um, and I can use the book to uh, select any of the textures. They're currently shown on the screen right now, the different textures. They're in the description as well. So I could type northwest into here for example and this axe will now set the um, set the mushroom blocks to the northwest texture so this is a really nice addition to uh, to your world especially if you're a builder sort of a very nice decorative tool um, it works with the brown and red separately exclusively and I, I think it's just kind of nice um, you uh, it takes durability on the tool so it's not it's not OP and you need a silk touch tool anyway to um, to pick uh, the mushroom blocks up in the first place. So I think it's pretty neat. Uh, you can choose any texture you like. I think stem is probably my favorite texture, to be honest. It just kind of looks nice, but there are, I believe, 11 total textures uh, that mushroom blocks can have. Uh, it's pretty sweet. So I'll quickly show you how this works. Something I really like about this is when it's not active, i.e. Uh, somebody is not holding a silk touch tool and has a book in their inventory. If I throw this book down a second, you'll see that if I highlight the axe, nothing happens. Um, it's only if I have a written book in my inventory and I'm holding an axe that this this clock turns on. So on standby, it adds no load at all to your world. There's just three command blocks running. One is adding the mush block scoreboard. One is testing for um, a person who is holding an enchanted tool of any kind and has a writable book in their inventory. And the final one is just setting everybody's mush block score to zero. Let me just get that up a second. Scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, game it for mush block. So you can see I have a score of zero right now. So the way this works is every word you type into this book has a different number, a different score that you get. So if I hold the axe a second, you'll see my mush block score changes to 11. So that means the stem score, uh, the stem uh, texture has a score of 11. If I change this to northwest, for example, um, and click done, and then hold the axe again, you'll see that the number changes to two. So depending on what you have written in the book, you'll get a different score. If you type something in that doesn't exist, um, then your score will be zero. Uh, and any blocks that you uh, break with the silk touch tool will just drop as an ordinary mushroom block. Uh, so basically, all of these command blocks are just re repetitions of each other. So there's three command blocks for each set. Um, and then there's a few extra ones for killing things. So the way it works is basically when you break one of these blocks with a silk touch axe, it drops a mushroom block. And if you have the correct book in your inventory and you're holding a silk touch tool, that mushroom block, depending on your mushroom score, will set block the correct textured block in its place and then kill itself. So for example, if we go with this one here, uh, this is actually, let's start with the top row. So this uh, clock turns on if you're holding a silk touch tool and have a written book in your inventory. So this sets um, every item. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, uh, this is setting your score to one if the writable book you have has the word inside inside it. So if I got this book and uh, oops, if I got this book and wrote inside, which is the inside texture into the book and highlight the tool, we'll get a score of one on the right there. And that's this command block here. 
Uh, so the next thing it does is this handles the red mushrooms. So uh, on behalf of all um, items with a mush block score of one, there's a command block giving every mushroom, um, a red mushroom block, a mush block score of one. Um, it will execute on behalf of... Oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> my bad. So uh, all players with a mushroom block score of one, which is somebody who has inside written on on their book, executes on behalf of all items with a mushroom block score of one, which is um, a red mushroom block, uh, within a radius of six blocks to fill the space that it's occupying with a red mushroom block with the texture zero, which is the all inside texture. Um, and it replaces only air, so if for some reason it's inside a sign or something, it won't delete the sign. And then there's exactly the same command on the opposite side, but just for the brown mushrooms. So that's all players with a mushroom score of 1 will execute on all items with a mushroom block score of 2, which is the brown mushroom block, um, to fill a brown mushroom block with a score of 0. And these are just repetitions, so this is a, a mushroom block with a score of 1, this is 2, three etc so it's it's a fairly simple symbol a uh, simple system um this is just this comparator here just turns this clock on and off and also announces the system activating and deactivating you may want to get rid of these last two command blocks if you're on multiplayer because everyone will see those messages well thank you very much as always for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video this is possibly my favorite game mode for plug and i think it just it works really nicely uh, and it's something that I think should be already in vanilla Minecraft. So as usual, you can download the schematic and a blank world with this pre-installed if you want to play around with it yourself uh, from the video description. Uh, I'd like to thank Twinkles2245 for helping me uh, test this and for giving me, me the idea in the first place. There's a link to her channel in the video description. Um, as always, if you want to suggest something you'd like to see me make as a Game Mode 4 module, feel free to suggest it in the comments below. And, of course, I always welcome comments of any form, uh, preferably nice ones. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. I hope to see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.